Hi, I'm Susan Rutledge, author of Creating Pattern Brushes in Adobe Illustrator, here today with another tutorial on how to make a pattern brush. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check my book out on Amazon.com. In this video, I'll show you how to put the finishing touches on your pattern brushes by making start and end tiles. I've already designed the side tile for our pattern brush, and I'll open the brushes panel and drag and drop it in. I'll click on pattern brush and say OK, and then I'm going to name this pencil. Now I want to just go over what these bins are here. The side tile that we created goes in the second bin, and it is the repeating part of the pattern brush. In the first bin, we have the outer corner tile. I didn't design this. It is an auto-generated tile that Illustrator created based upon the side tile's design. The third bin is the inner corner tile, and I'm going to just go ahead and select Auto Sliced there. And then the fourth bin is the Start Tile, and the fifth bin is the End Tile. So I'm going to click OK. When we create Start and End Tiles, it's important to remember that their bounding box must be the same height as the bounding box of the side tile. So I'll move into the Outline Viewing Mode Keyboard Shortcut Command Y. We typically draw left to right, and the Start Tile is the first anchor point that's placed on the path. So I'm going to start on the left side of the Side Tile, and I'll create the Start Tile. And I'll get the Rectangle Tool, Keyboard Shortcut M. This needs to match up with the anchor on the side tile, and I'll just drag out a rectangle here and release my mouse. Then I'll come over to the toolbar, and I'm going to get the Add Anchor Point Tool, Keyboard Shortcut Plus, and I'm going to add an anchor on the left side of my rectangle right in the center, and then I'll come over and get the Delete Anchor Point Tool, Keyboard Shortcut Minus, and I'm going to delete the top left and the bottom left anchors. And I'll get the Rectangle Tool, Keyboard Shortcut M, and I'm going to drag out a rectangle. I'm going to go to the Properties panel, and I will get the Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut V, and on this pointed object, I'm going to give it a light beige fill, and this rectangle here is going to get a black fill. And then I'll move into the preview mode, keyboard shortcut Command Y, and I'll select both of these objects. I'll come over to the Properties panel, and in the Pathfinder area, I'm going to click on the ellipsis, and I'm looking for the Divide tool, which is in the bottom left corner, and I'll click on that, and then I will select both of these objects, and I'm going to ungroup them. Keyboard shortcut Shift Command G. Now I'll click on the artboard to deselect them, but then I'll come back and select the part I don't want, and I'll press my delete key, and the excess is gone, and we have the design for our start tile. I'll select both of these objects, and I'm going to group them using the keyboard shortcut Command G. I'll go back into the Outline Viewing Mode, Keyboard Shortcut Command Y, and I'll get the Rectangle Tool, Keyboard Shortcut M, and I'll start at the anchor, and I'm going to drag out the little piece that's going to be the metal between the eraser and the pencil, and then I'm going to do another rectangle that's going to be my eraser, and I'll release my mouse and I'll get the Direct Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut A. I'll select the two right anchors, and I'll drag the handles to the center to round the corners and make my eraser. Now I'll click on the artboard to deselect, and I'm going to get the Rectangle Tool again, Keyboard Shortcut M, and I'm going to add just a couple of little lines here. And There we go, get the Selection Tool. I'm going to nudge that with my arrow key, 
and then I'll hold the shift and option key down and I'll add one more here and then I'm going to duplicate this move I'll use the keyboard shortcut command D and I'll click on the artboard to deselect let's move into the preview mode now keyboard shortcut command Y and I had black fill turned on when I was doing that so let's move that to invisible and let's okay, deselect then I'm going to select the eraser and I'll give it a pink fill and then I want the rectangle and I'm going to give it a gray fill and then I'll get the little stripes and I'll hold my shift key down so that I can select all three of them at once and let's give them a real dark gray and I think that's going to work just fine and then I need to group all of these I'll select them and use the keyboard shortcut command G now the last step is to create the bounding boxes and so I'll move into the outline viewing mode keyboard shortcut command Y and I'll get the rectangle tool and um, hopefully you remember it's supposed to be invisible so we'll come over and we will remove the fill color and there's no stroke so I'll get over here on the left side the intersection of the top of the side tile and the left point of the start tile and I'll drag down to the intersection of the bottom of the side tile and release my mouse and because I drew the bounding box last it is in front of the design and I'll use the keyboard shortcut shift command left bracket to move it behind the design then I'll get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and I'll select the design and the bounding box and I'll group them using the keyboard shortcut command G. Now I'll do the same for the end tile. I'll get the rectangle tool, keyboard shortcut M, and I'll start at the anchor and I'll make sure I have an intersection with the side tile at the bottom and I'll get the edge of my eraser and that looks like it is going to be fine and I'm going to move it to the back by using the keyboard shortcut shift command left bracket and I'll get the selection tool and I'll select all of these items and I'll group them using keyboard shortcut command G now let's move back into the preview mode keyboard shortcut command Y now we're ready to open the brushes panel and load our new tiles so I'll get the start tile first and I'll hold the option key down I'll drag it into the second to the last bin and release my mouse and I'll just check here it is in the start tile bin and it is facing the right direction because I have the flat edge next to the flat edge of the pencil so I will say OK and then I'll get the end tile hold the option key down drag it into the last bin and I'll check and it is in the end tile bin and the edges are right up next to each other I'll say OK and I'm going to just select all of these objects and move them out of the way and I'll get the line segment tool keyboard shortcut backslash and I'll hold the shift key down and I'm going to drag out a horizontal line and then click on the artboard and I'll get the selection tool keyboard shortcut V and deselect that so you can see it is a seamless pattern brush with start and end tiles and the only time you'll have a start and end tile is when you have an open path I'll get the pen tool keyboard shortcut P and I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm just going to drag out a little design here you could maybe use this for a border on a little newsletter or a poster and now I come over and select the pattern brush and you have a cute little pencil border and if you want you can reduce the size of the pencil and another thing that you might want to do is to get the direct selection tool keyboard shortcut A and drag the corners just slightly and round those and I think that that 
is really cute. So now you know how to make the start and the end tiles for a pattern brush. I hope this has been helpful and I thank you for watching. Join me again soon for another video on creating pattern brushes in Adobe Illustrator. Bye now.